Welcome back. Here we go. All Native Basketball Tournament 61st Annual. Met BC taking on Old Master in the women's division. As they get that one to go, a quick one there by Whitney Ryan. Swinging it around, 5-3. Cameron Parnell with it. Oh, has that knocked away. Edenshaw comes back up with that. Parnell at the three. Has Swanson. Swanson left open. Kind of a jumping three there. No good by Naomi. She's 0 for 3 from the three-point line. Harperville bringing it up. Jordan Leesk with it now. Leesk finds Hughes. Stolen away by Edenshaw. Swinging it around over to Cameron Parnell. Nice up and under as Parnell gets it going. Harperville bringing the ball down for Matt Tiger. Can't get that shot to go as Humperville. And here we go, working it around his least. Uh, top up there. So a uh, forced ball turnover there, and a jump ball rather, and it's coming the other way for Old Mass at 5-5 here with 5.50 left in the first quarter. Mold with it over to Sarah Edenshaw on the baseline. Swings it down. Lee stolen away. Good pressure defense there by Jordan Lee because she read that the whole way. Ryan bringing it down the floor for Met. Pulls up. Finds a Lee wide open. Oh, stolen away there by Jamie Mold. Old Massett controls it. Coming back down the floor is Naomi Swanson. Still working it around his old mass and they find Leah Aarons at the top of the key. Naomi wide open for three. Naomi can't get that one to go. So back and forth we go, Pete. Yeah, she's got to keep firing. I mean, that's uh, the you know, next factor for old mass is if Naomi's going to be hitting those threes. But uh, pretty tightly contested uh, contest so far. Ryan no good on that one off the side of the backboard. Uh, Cameron Parnell bringing the ball down the floor. She's going one-on-one -on -one against Neely. Neely says no. Big block by Neely Humperville. And we're having a bit of technical difficulties with our mics right now. It is day one. So yes. just bear with us as we're working through it. Well, there's something to talk about here, Willis. I mean, Cameron Parnell, we know that's Willis Parnell's daughter, very high-level ball player. But in terms of, like, familiarity, I don't know how familiar she is with Neely. Like, Neely, as we know, has been a staple here for decades now. You don't drive in on Neely Humperville at the All-Native Tournament most of the time <laughs> yeah. and get away with it. Neely is so smart with her timing as Matt controls the ball. Still 5-5, though. Stolen away there by Cameron. And she has Zoe Collinson going. Zoe puts it up no good. Offensive rebound. Cameron puts it back up and in. That could be a great tandem to watch. Zoe Collinson, a really good up and young player. Uh, let's see how they match up together. Humperville bringing it up for Matt over to Ryan. Whitney Ryan with it now has some room. Launches off the baseline. Fadeaway, no good on that. Rebound controlled by Old Massett. They're running the floor. Zoe running the floor. She two steps in on Neely. Tries to draw the contact. Edenshaw right there to gobble it up. And it is 9-5. Old Massett leads. Yeah, and Neely uh, really calling for a sub there as we're going to see how deep this Melicala squad really is as uh, struggling early on. And Cameron walking in and getting it to go. Nice moves by Cameron Parnell. Yeah, we got a timeout called Melicala. It's 11 to 5 Old Massett. This women's game is being brought to you on the radio by Old Massett Village Council and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be back after this break. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs.
Hartman. Old Masson has cut a slim lead here, 11 to five with 3.38 left to go in the first quarter. Tipped out of bounds there by Zoe Collinson. And she has had an immediate impact on the game as soon as she stepped on the floor. Yeah, they got uh, their first exposure to play together last year. And uh, you know, so they're getting a bit more familiar with each other. But yeah, great young player, Zoe. A very young squad out there for uh, Old Mass. I think the oldest one out there for Old Mass is 19 years old at the moment. And so Neely Humperville going to try to take control of this game. I'd expect to see them try to create some more shots for her. Oh, Tracy Hughes back out there. She's a baller. No good on that one. Gets her own rebound. Jordan Leesk with it. Swings it around back to Hughes. Hughes. Oh, a shot clock violation. They're not going to count the bucket. Nice move by Hughes, though. Yeah, I think Neely Humperville was trying to argue that there was a shot taken there and that there was a, a reset. But uh, to no avail, it's a turnover. Here comes Eden Shaw working around over to Aarons. Aarons finds Collinson. She's up at the free throw line. No good. Aarons with the rebound. Back up and in. Aaliyah Aarons. So 13 to 5. Old Mass it leads. Swing in around is Met. Jordan Lees. She needs to shoot. She can bang him down. No good on that one. Rebound controlled by Aarons. Zoe Collinson running down. She has a two on none. Loses the ball. Good defense there by Metlakala. And here we go. Cameron Parnell with it. Swings it over to Zoe. Zoe. Front iron. No good. Aaliyah Aaron's posted up in the key there. Gets that one to go. Cameron can't get it. Big rebound there by Neely. So Neely bringing down the floor. And she needs to make things happen for her team. Tough defense there by Zoe. Swings it down baseline. Over to Ryan. Ryan gets it up. No good. Tough pressure defense there by Old Massive. Cameron Parnell with it now. She's bringing it down the floor. Forcing the issue. Eden Shaw trying to bring it in on Neely. Great defense by Neely. Back up and in. Oh, Sarah Eden Shaw staying with the play. Yeah, great effort there by Mary Jane Edgars to get the rebound. Top three, she launches, Neely Humperville. No good on that one. Rebound there by Leach. Good pressure defense. Still controlled by Met. Neely launches the three. No good. She literally just has to keep shooting though. Hughes with it. It's pressure to keep getting these offensive rebounds. Neely gonna shoot again. Neely, no good on that one. You gotta feel like eventually those are gonna start going in for Neely. Eden Chan's only working the give and go. Big block by Neely, they're gonna call out a foul. She will attest it, but that's right there calling it. You know, you, you talked a little bit, Keith, about uh, you know this young, this young old Masted squad is showing a lot of uh, fresh legs out there. And Zoe Collinson. Good on one of two. It was, uh, was Zoe 16-5, Old Massa leads. My mic isn't working. And here we go. Leanne moving down to Neely. Switch back again. Watches that off the backboard, no good. Over to Cameron Parnell. She's working it. Launches up from the free throw line, off the front iron, no good. Good rebound there by Jordan. She passes back, but Leanne Hughes was wide open under the hoop. They're going to call the foul on the floor. So, 16 to 5, one minute left in the first. And we're going to have an uh, inbound in the offensive end. And they haven't really scored in about six minutes here. It's It's been a bit of a drought. Yeah, they, they keep firing, Keith, but... Uh... Yeah, they just got nothing going yet. Swinging it around. Oh, turned over there by Met. And here comes old Massett. Cameron with the ball. She's got a lot of room. She's just going to take it herself and put it in for two. 18 to 5. 
40 seconds to go. Neely Hyperville going to look to get things going here for Matt. She's met by Parnell at the half court. They're going to double team her. They're swinging around over to Hughes. Hughes hits those. Not that time, though. Gets her own. Nope. Oh, good hustle defense there by uh, Collinson. We got a foul down there. Well, we talked about it, Keith. Uh, looking at the stat sheet here, Melikal is shooting 11% in the first half. So, I mean, they're getting a lot of good shots off. They're getting their chances. Uh, it's just nothing dropping right now. So much time left in this game, obviously. As, uh, I think they're in the bonus situation as Sarah Incha takes the line off the front iron. No good on that first one. Yeah, and Melikala has a lot of experience at the tournament. I mean, you don't get too panicked in this situation. Yes, you've got off to a bad start, uh, but they have the veterans, eh? Neely, the Hughes sisters, uh, they can get back into this game pretty quick. Good on one of two. 19 to five, Old Massett leads. Swings it down, Jordan Lees can't get that to go. Rebound by Zoe Collinson. 10 seconds left, she's running the floor herself. They have a three on two. Sarah to Cameron, Cameron puts it up, Parnell. Good for two points. Old Massett having a lot of success running the ball, and that's going to do it for the first uh, quarter. Yeah, that looked like the old weave back in high school play. Uh, nicely played there. Old Massett leads 21-5. to five. This women's game being brought to you on the radio by Old Massett Village Council and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be back with your second quarter after this. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Willams, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Welcome back here to the 61st Annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. Malakala finally broke the lid off the basket, scoring two points there. Old Massett leads 23-7. to seven. Nine minutes, Kaylin Swanson launches a deep three. Oh, she always seems to get those shooters rolled. Swinging it around, Jones over to Collinson, no good. Rebound by Edenshaw. She's been such an uh, impactful player down there in the paint, Pete. Yeah, she's got 10 points here uh, early on, and they've all been uh, more or less that, just layups. Swinging it down, Ryan with it, looking to get things going for her Met squad. Swings it over to Hughes, over to Humperville. Humperville, they're double teaming her every time she gets the ball. Swings it around, she gets bumped there. So that foul, I believe, is going to be on Grace Jones. Yeah, well, nice uh, rotation by the bench here. By over uh, are coached by uh, Lenny Aarons this year. There's uh, Grace Jones subbing out, and it goes Giesket uh, coming into the game here. Hughes with the ball. Back to Neely. This is where Neely needs to be in the post. Can't get that to go, but that's where she's going to be successful. And once you start hitting those in the post, you start stepping back. Nice give and go there by Incha. Over to Collinson. She gets the end one. Yeah, I think, well, Melikala got to figure out how to try to break down this, you know, this, uh, you know, all this, these fast, fast break points that they're getting. I mean, literally everything is uh, out on the run and lay-ins. Humperville, all go. Keith get just rips it out of Humperville's hands. Swings it around. Zoe puts it up. Bang! Zoe gets it going. 29 to 7. Old Mass it leads over Matt Lacatla. Here comes Neely. Neely met by Kaylin. Picks up her dribble. Long pass deflected out. Oh, they're going to call that Old Mass. It looked to be tipped out off Old Mass, but they got it. So Kaylin Swanson bringing it down. Find Zoe Collins, and they call her the Beast. Over to Kaylin. She's open. Sarah drives baseline on the left side. No good. Can't get that roller to go. 
Zoe with the rebound, going to work, puts up a floater, can't get that to go, rebound Mary Jane. Oof. Swings it out, Kaylin for three. No good on that one, rebound Jordan Lees. Oh, has that slapped away, but controlled by Met. So Neely running the ball. Jordan Leesk running in, she finds some space over to Ryan. Ryan, nice put up there. Getting on the board, 20 point lead here for Old Mass at 29-9, 7.30 left here in the first half. Kaylin has it over to Zoe. When Zoe sees room, she attacks. Spots up. No good on that. Rebound controlled by Met BC. Neely controlling the pace here. Ryan left open. Puts it up. No good off the rim. Rebound controlled by Old Massett. Kaylin bringing it down. Finds Edenshaw on the base. Swings it back out to Kaylin. Kaylin working around Edenshaw. Long two-pointer, no good on that one. Oh, good rebound there by Mary Jane. Over to Go Keith, get at the top of the key, no good. And here comes Matt BC. Hughes with it, finds Lee Oh, Lee couldn't handle the pass, getting a little sloppy out there. Here comes Sarah. It's a three on two. Kaylin, two steps in. Oh, can't get that one to go. Might have been a bit too open there, Pete. Yeah, just uh, opening tournament jitters. I would uh, test that one too. First tournament here and uh, big stage to play on. And here comes Neely Hopperville with it. Swings it over to Ryan. Ryan launches out up. No good on that one is Ryan. Kaylin bringing the ball down. Sarah. Edenshaw back over to Kaylin. She steps in a bit on that one. No good. Rebound pops out to Sarah Edenshaw again. Go Keith get from the free throw line. Gets that one to go. And we're going to have a time out here, Pete. Well, this game is being brought to you on the radio by Old Massive Village Council and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll take a short break. We'll be back after this. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lacqua Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Welcome back here, 61st Annual. Uh, Old Max had scored another two points there during that commercial break to bring the score 33 to nine uh, with five minutes left in the first half. Leesk with it on the baseline for Met in the offensive end. She turns that over, Edenshaw with it, and they're just gonna foul her. So the young squad from Old Massett uh, looking good in transition, Pete. Yeah, I almost think Melikal is a little bit shell-shocked here. I mean, I don't think they were uh, too familiar with the squad. Uh, maybe didn't expect this kind of intensity to come out of it, but Old Massett uh, off to a great start. Go Keith gets the entry pass in the top of the key. Puts it up no good. Rebound controlled by Met. Running the floor. Oh, laying out on the floor is Kaylin. Going to get called with the travels. She just shuffled her feet on the ground there. It's Kira Ryan going to the floor with her as well. So good hustle on both ends there. Yeah, we're just seeing Melikala really uh, having a tough time on managing this bench here. They're trying to get, you know, the Hughes sisters as much rest as they can, bringing in some of their young players, uh, but we're coming checking back in. It's going to be uh, Leanne Hughes, Leanne Hughes coming in. in. So Neely to inbound the ball. And I'd like to see Neely get a little bit more active down in the post. She's one of the bigger players out there right now as Mets working it around. Leesk launches a deep two-pointer, no good. Rebound controlled by Old Massett. Kaylin Swanson bringing it down. Oh, can't control the pass. Oh, but somehow wow. finds Sarah Edenshaw. 
Cameron oh. Parnell going to the line. Lays that up and in. A kind of hoop scoop shot there, Pete. Yeah, good shot there. But I think, yeah, we were a little surprised there was no turnover called on, on that last play. But you make a good point there, Keith, about Neely. If uh, she goes down below, you know, she starts opening up everybody outside. And that's what they need. They need some outside shooting as well. Forced turnover there by Old Massett as they take that ball back. Kalen Swanson with it has Cameron Parnell running the floor. Can't get that to go. Kind of just had to throw it up. Now Jordan Leask with it. She's going to go in on a two-on-one. Just launches it up and catches Go Keith. Get moving. And she's going to head to the line now to try to chip into that lead. Still lots of time left here in this game. You know, just looking at the uh, the draw here. And it's only the first day, of course, so we have a whole week ahead of us. But the winner of this game is scheduled to take on Hazleton uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. So winner of this is up. Uh, you know, Hazleton always comes with a tough squad. And the uh, loser of this game going to drop down to the bottom side of the bracket where they're going to have to play again tonight at 9.30. Or sorry, no, it's tomorrow night, Monday, uh, where they're going to take on the uh, the loser of the game happening over in the arena, uh, New Ianch, Lacolam's women. And we'll try to keep you updated on that game if we can get some scores from over there. Jordan Lee's no good on the second attempt. So she goes 50% there, one for one. Cameron Parnell bringing it down the floor. Working it down. That was Abrahams. Couldn't get it to go, Marissa. Leask with it. Running the floor. Stolen there by Cameron Parnell. Long lead pass. Over to Kalen from the free throw line. Off the glass, no good. Long, deep pass for Jordan. She goes up. Go Keith, get good straight up defense there. And good ball movement here by Olmasson now as they're moving it down the floor. And Matt looks a little bit more energized here on the defensive end. Naomi Swanson steps in and gets that one to go. Naomi getting it going. And just a long two. About as deep as two as you can get. Lee's go over to Hopperville. She's got to launch that. She does. No good side iron. So Neely's still struggling. And she gets it down low. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound. Gets it twice. Still can't get it to go. Rebound by Jordan. She throws it up. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Oh, no. Uh, Naomi comes up with it. Goes down to Mercer. Cameron running the floor. Ryan coming back. Cameron almost just waiting for that contact. Hoping for the end one. But goes up and puts it in for two. 39 to 10. Old Mass at Leeds. Yeah, a lot of uh, fast break points there. Cameron Parnell's got 14 now, and uh, basically all of them on fast break. It looks like was... we're going to have a foul down low there. Hughes, see if they count the bucket. Yeah, I think that was uh, the bucket's good. Yeah, yep. Dan Hughes, storied player on this uh, Met team. You know, they can get it going. Might have someone stepped in early there off the shot. So we're going to get a second shot. Might have been go Keith get stepping on the line a bit bit early. So Jordan Lee's getting another shot there. Almost didn't work out for them because Neely controlled that offensive rebound. Anyways, Ooh. rebound controlled by Abrahams. Down to Kaylin Swanson. Over to Parnell. Parnell running Ooh. into a brick wall. It's Tracy Hughes. Good straight up defense. You love to see it, Pete. Neely bringing it in. Go Keith get Neely going to work in the post. Jumper no good. Good hustle there by Ryan to get involved, and it's going to stay Matt Ball. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, boy, Neely really struggling here in the first half. I mean, she is getting shots off, but you got to think you can't see her going a whole game like this, but, boy, this first half's been tough. Nice pass into Tracy Hughes. She turns around and puts that in, and that's what they need to do. They need to just really grit and grind it out. Fight for every bucket. 14 to 39. Old Mass at Leeds. Naomi feeling it from three now. Back iron no good. Rebound controlled by uh, Met. Marissa running the whole way. Picked her pocket. Kaylin coming with it now. Another turnover there by Met. And a turnover there by Marissa. And almost another turnover. <laughs> and Neely comes up with it. Yep. Neely slow things down. Finds Tracy. Well, you got to think that's what they got to do, Keith. I mean, this is the battle of styles here. Melikali needs to slow things down and pound it down low. Neely with a deep three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my predictions are awesome. So bang him down low, and Neely hits a deep three. There deep. you go. She yeah. just needed to step back. She was too close, Pete. Yeah. Next one's got to come from half court. Here it comes. Abrahams finds Keith. Get up the 
uh, free throw line. No good. Can't get the shooter's roll. Oh, poked out there by Parnell. Marissa Abrams shoots a deep two. Gets the shooter's roll. Puts it in. 41 to 17. One minute left here in the first half. Old Massett leads over Metlakatla. Hughes trying for three, chipping away. No good. So Melikala is doing a good job of getting involved in those offensive board and they've controlled a lot of the rebounding here, but it's those second, third attempts that, while well, they're not falling. And it's interesting to see Neely inbound almost every possession as well. You think she'd want the ball in her hands to start the possession. Stolen away there by Larissa. Or sorry, that was Kaylin giving it up to hmm. Abraham, she puts it in for two. She's got their last four points. Another young player there for the old massive squad. Marissa Abraham's an intense defender. Swings it over to Hughes. Back on, uh, backboard no good. <laughs> Naomi just whips it down the floor. Marissa saves it. Cameron gets it. She's got a one-on-one. -on -one. She's gonna two-step in and use the contact to create the shot. Two points, 20 seconds left. You gotta think they're holding for the last shot. The shot clock is off. 17 seconds, 45 to 17. Hughes with the ball. Neely swings it down to Tracy Hughes. She's going to work in the post. Draws a foul in the end one. Well, this is a big play here, Keith. I mean, it's uh, it's still early, relatively early on in the game. But, you know, at halftime, you don't want to be going down almost 30 points. So I think, you know, this uh, possession here for Melikala is big. Big three-point play. Yeah, puts that one in. Ends on a good note. Having success there uh, late in this quarter. I mean, they've scored 15 points in this quarter as opposed to the five in the first. So that's a bright side for Met. And that's going to do it for your first half, 45 to 20, Pete. Yeah, this uh, women's game is being brought to you on the radio by Old Master Village Council and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll come back with your first half wrap-up after this. Yeah, Shearwater Marina. Yeah, well, new feature this year. I mean, we're trying to obviously highlight, you know, the amazing talents of Cliff Morgan, who, uh, you know, provides us with all these amazing stats every game throughout the whole week. And so now it's just fitting that we uh, we exemplify all of his great work by the stats. And uh, what a first half there for Old Massett. They were led by Cameron Parnell. Uh, she had 16 points on 80% shooting from, uh, you know, basically from the field. So if uh, she continues that, it could be a big game for her. Sarah Edenshaw had 12. Uh, both uh, That's a two players in double digits for Massett. Rounding off the scoring for them, uh, Zoe Collinson had seven. Uh, Aaliyah Ahrens and Naomi Swanson with two apiece. Uh, Marissa Abrahams had four. And Kos uh with two, uh, two points of her own. And Melikala, they just really struggled there in that first half. They uh, shot 30%. Uh, nobody in uh, double digits, but Tracy Hughes leading the way with six points. Neely Humphreville had five. Leanne Hughes and Whitney Ryan with four apiece. And uh, Jordan Leask with one point. And I don't know, uh, I'm not sure what you think, Keith, but it almost feels like Mel Cal a little bit surprised at, uh, at how this game is uh, shaping out. Definitely surprised, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them come out with a better game plan and yeah. make the adjustments that they need to do. I mean, they've been playing zone so far, so maybe they man up. Maybe they, you know, have somebody leaking out because they had success when someone was leaking out going for that fast break bucket. When Jordan leaked out, they missed her a couple times, but she could have been there. But that's the, uh, your halftime at Cliff Notes, of course, brought to you by Shearwater Marina. Stay tuned for the three in the key next on CFNR. I'm Kiefer Carlson, of course, joined by Pistol Pete Len. Morgan. We're here at the 61st Annual All-Native Basketball Tournament in the Jim Sacconi Civic Center in the beautiful town of Prince Rupert, the beautiful province of British Columbia, and our country, Canada, Pete. You got your all of our bases covered there, Keith. Mm -hmm. Good rep one. Represent, rep, rep, represent. And we're here in the women's division as Old Massey controls the ball, and they control a 25-point lead here going into the second half as Edenshaw has it. Working the ball around. Uh, Parnell, long two-pointer. Not enough strength on that one. Air balls it. Going to go the other way, so Met See if they have a, the the game plan, Pete. Yeah, we'll know. We'll know right away on uh, you know what their game plan will be. So let's see what this first possession looks like. Looks like they're spreading the floor top of the key for the cut to drive in, swing out pass for two. Met no good. 
Hughes with it. She gets double teamed in the corner. Leanne Hughes gets that up to go, and that penetration is there. Yeah, tough shot there by Hughes, but we noticed that halftime, Keith. Jordan Leesk is still over by the first aid table. Looks like she's getting her shoulder or something, getting some oxygen by the looks of it. Getting some oxygen. Is, got a three-pointer there by Naomi Swanson, I believe, as she drained that one. Over to Hughes. Tracy has it. Good move there by Tracy. She goes up and Ooh. under. Can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds by Leanne Hughes. So Old Massa going to have the ball here. 48-22. Nine minutes left in the third. Here comes Cameron Parnell. Swings it around. Edenshaw. Deep three. Or deep two, rather. No good. Rebound controlled by Met. Neely. Patrick Mahomes it Ooh. down the court. And we're going to get a jump ball here. It's got tied up there by Naomi Swanson. Yeah, possession arrow in uh, Old Massett's favor. So they're going to, uh, oh no, sorry, Melikala's favor. So it's gonna, they're going to inbound. Long pass over to Hughes. Tracy almost has that stolen away, controlled there by Met. Swinging around Ryan. Launch is no good on that one. And here comes Old Massett. Cameron running the ball. Weaving in, up and under, can't get it to go. That was uh, good defense there. And here's that leak out play. Hughes didn't even run back on defense. She's under the hoop, yeah, puts it in for two. We used to call that cherry picking, but maybe it still is. Yeah, that was cherry picking. <laughs> <laughs> She's just chilling down there. I, I forgot she was even there. Good heads up play by Humperville. And here comes Old Mass at 24-48. An interesting stat. That was their first fast break point of the game for Melikala. Wow. And Neely looking for it again. She's looking down the floor. They're looking for that fast break point, but she decides to bring the ball up herself. Oh, turned over there. Oh, good defense there. Oh, Aaron's can't come up with it on the floor. We're going to hit, and it's going to be a jump ball. So it's going to be uh, in possession of Old Massett there. So a possession arrow switching back and forth here. Yeah, they got them doubled up. 48-24, Massett leading. Sarah Edenshaw. Over to Aaron's. Aaron's entry pass. Uh, Jamie Mole can't get that to go. She was swarmed by Metlakala defenders. Swings it around over to Hopperville. Hughes swings it out. Tracy has it. Has Neely. Neely going to launch a three. Side iron, no good. Tracy Hughes going to try one. Good form. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Swanson. Swanson launches it down over to Cameron Parnell. Parnell bringing it down the floor. She slows things down, finds Mold under the bucket, getting fouled. So Jamie Mold going to head to the line for two shots. Well, one thing to notice in the second half is, you know, obviously Melikali struggled offensively in that first half, but defensively they gave up so many fast break points. We're actually seeing Melikali get back a little bit right now. Uh, so maybe uh, they, the way they get back in this is by defense. And, uh, Jamie Mold good on that first free throw. 49-24, seven minutes left here in the third. And good on the second one. Neely bringing the ball down the floor, works it around. Hughes, Tracy has it, good move. Forcing her way down. Aaron's going to get pick up that foul, but that's good straight up defense there, moving the body, gets caught with the contact, and sometimes that's what you got to do to stop the bucket from going in the hoop. Yeah, well, that's what you're taught to do. So, yeah, good defense there by Aaliyah, even though uh, foul called. She's going to sub out uh, Zoe Collinson back into the game. And Hughes good on the first attempt. Good form on her shot, 25 to 50. Trying to cut it down to 24, and she does. And here comes Collinson. Swing it around, Parnell. Turned over. Oh, turned back over. Jamie Mould picks up that pass. Over to Cameron Parnell. Swings it around. Edenshaw with it now. Long cross-court pass to Swanson. Swanson bobbles it, swings it over to Mould. Mould trying to go to work. Parnell on the baseline. She just launches up a little 13-footer. Rebound there by Tracy Hughes. Neely looking for it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see Jordan Leesk return. She's still sitting there in the first aid area. I mean, norm it. yeah, normally when you see that, I mean, people that have asthma, I mean, we've seen like, she's having trouble breathing. So 
It's got to be some condition that she had. But with that, we have a timeout called. Uh, this game is being brought to you on the radio by Old Massive Village Council and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be back after this. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay and Lacqua Lambs and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs.
Drum. Hughes with it, has to launch a tough shot there. As the shot clock was expiring, Neely going to work in the post, gets it back again, going up. Can't get that one to go either. She's just frustrated with herself. Eden Shaw leaking out over to Zoe. Zoe puts it up, can't get it to go. And Jamie Mould cleaning up the glass. Second chance points for Jamie Mould. She's got their last six points. Out of bounds. It's going to stay Matt Ball, I believe. Yeah, so you're just looking at the Melikala bench here. I mean, Neely's going to try to get some, get a breather here to try to lead this comeback. But, uh, yeah, maybe the short bench uh, really uh, causing them struggle today. Ryan, double team down in the corner, leaks out to Tracy Hughes. Hughes, good drop step coming in. And you get caught with the foul, I believe. It might be uh, Sarah Edenshaw. Yeah, so maybe with that, Keith, we'll take a short break. This game, women's game, is being brought to you on the radio by Old Masted Village Council and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back after this. Old Masted Village Council 30. would like to Welcome back, here we go. Naomi Swanson trying to drive in, no good on that one. Right back in as um, Ole Mass leads 60 to 29, two minutes left to go in the third. I'm not sure what the call is on the floor there, but Neely taking the shortest sub of her life. <laughs> I think she subbed out for seven seconds of gameplay there and Neely wanting to get back into this game. As Haley Ryan Crum checking back out. Yeah, well, it's over 30-point deficit right now. I mean, they got, you know, just a little over 12 minutes to come back. So it's now or never for Melikala as, uh, you know, Old Massett's really played a great game here so far. Good on both. Jamie Mould. And here comes Neely. She's met by Sarah Edenshaw. Sarah forces a turnover. Great hands there. She's running the floor, going the left side by Hughes. Gets the end one to go. Sarah Edenshaw. Yeah, one of those. And this is a compliment to left-handed players, Keith. So just hold on a second here as I say this. It's so hard to defend a left-handed player when they go up on that side of the rim there. And, you know, just a great body control by Sarah Edenshaw. Don't I know it being a left-handed my, person myself? <laughs> I was trying not to give you too much props, but hey, <laughs> left-handers got, got an advantage in some things. Obama was left-handed. Interesting. Good on that second attempt. Uh, the first attempt on the end one, rather. So 64 to 30. Of course, the winner goes on and plays Hazleton tomorrow at 11 a.m. And we were talking about them. They came fourth last year, Keith, but you know they've won championships in the last few years, and uh, we hear they're coming back with full force. Taylor Whale and the Simpsons. Yeah, Taylor Whale, former MVP of the women's division, definitely going to be an impactful player for Hazleton. Is that ball stolen away there? Good heads up play by Ryan behind the back pass to Humperville. Swings it back. They're working the ball. Massett really putting that full court pressure on them, but Neely calm, cool, and collected. She's been in these situations. Oh, might have got away with a the carry there. Ryan Crum going to get called with the uh, travel there, I believe. Almost looks like a makeup call. It's actually, uh, you know, people are screaming eight second violation too. That's uh, as the clock was showing 13 seconds. But uh, the refs got it all under control. You bet. Ne uh, Zoe rather bringing it up against Neely gets that one to drop. Zoe Collinson getting it going. 66-30. One minute left here in the third. I think they got a uh, reset. Yeah, they're just putting 20 on the shot clock. So they had to make sure the shot clock was right. Malakala working the ball around. Over to Humperville. Yeah, she's going to launch a deep one. No good on that one. I don't know why, but when she shoots from further out, I expect it to go in more often. 
like, uh, I, yeah, here we go. See, deep shot. Oh, broadcaster's curse, maybe? Yeah, it's like that Damian Lillard, uh, Steph Curry. You just think they're going to make it. Cameron Parnell gets that fast break point to go. 68 to 30. Old Massett running up the score here. And he, Leanne Hughes had to check out of the game. She has four fouls. Hmm. Ryan with it. Old Mass not letting up on the gas pedal. Neely going to work. Turnaround jumper. Can't get that to go. Rebound by Swanson. That's going to do it for the third quarter. 68-30. Old Mass leads over Metlakatla. Yeah, they've led uh, coast to coast here so far. One quarter to go. Uh, this women's game is being brought to you on the radio by Old Masset Village Council and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be back with your fourth quarter action after this. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay and Lac Lambs and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Welcome back. Here we go, right back into the action as Melikala controls the ball and their deficit of 40 right now as Old Massa forces a turnover and Zoe Conson running the floor going up on the right side, two points. Well, we talked about this in the last game, Keith, as uh, in the other game, Kikala uh, beat uh, Bella Kula quite handily and they had a full court press on the entire game. It was a 50 point blowout and they still didn't uh, let up and you know, I think when you think about it, how much effort it takes to come to the All-Native, you work all year, you might as well just leave it all on the floor and just go hard all the way. And it's great experience for all the young players out there. A lot of young players on both sides getting much needed XP, if you will. My gamers out there will know what XP means. It means experience as Zoe launches that one up. But, of course, with the emergence of Junior all of the U13 programs that are happening throughout, the, uh, throughout BC, the Indigenous games going down this year, a lot of talented players here in this tournament playing in, in uh, Halifax this coming summer. So pretty exciting stuff happening in Indigenous sports. Well, I think that's the cool thing about this women's division is, you know, we're seeing this you know, this huge wave of young players come through. And the caliber, just like every other division, is getting better and better and better. And, uh, you know, we're the beneficiaries of it as, uh, the, as the fans. You know, it's incredible to watch. Uh, Mary Jane can't get that one to go, but Cameron Parnell controls it. Swings it around over to Colson. She launches a rare three. No good. Look good, though. Uh, Cameron Parnell controls the offensive rebound. She's going to get it going from three again. No good on that one. And it's going to go the other way. You know, it might be time to think about in the future to split the women's division up into potentially two different age brackets. The talent is, uh, there's a lot yeah. of players out there. No, there's been a big push and discussion around the Masters division for the women's division. And, you know, in the past, it was uh, there wasn't enough players to go around. So you need to kind of put your best team together and put the best women's division. But you're right, Keith, I think. You know, there's, a, there's such a big wave of young players and, and players that still want to play, so. It's definitely something to think about for the future yeah. of the All-Native in a couple of years, possibly. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome to see them play in the main gym as well. Yeah, maybe on that note, Keith, I mean, there's been talk about that as well. So, you know, the women are playing here, and I think, you know, thinking about going forward, this is going to be the last time they play unless they make the finals. And it's a tough adjustment to go from here over to the arena where the depth perception of the rims is different and then come back. But they are talking about in the future that all teams play both both in the arena and the gym and when you're on the winner side of the bracket and you're winning you stay in the main gym you know and if you lose and you got to go through the back door then maybe you got to do it through the arena yeah you know, i think it's a, I, I think it shouldn't be just masters and women that are playing in the arena and then coming into the main gym it it should be everybody and you know i believe in that and i think a lot of people believe in that and it's just a matter of getting that done and 
I think that would be cool to watch, uh, you know, the seniors and intermediates play in the arena side. For sure. Those games get rocking in there, as you and I know. We spend a lot of time in the arena. and uh, But we're going to get back into the game as Ryan launching a three there. No good on that. Rebound controlled by Golkeith. But it just shows you the development of this tournament and where it can go and where it's, where it's going. It gets bigger and better every year. Zoe Collinson down to Cameron Parnell. She puts that in for two, seven minutes left. And, of course, we've got the opening ceremonies tonight. Really looking forward to that. The, uh, the canoe journey, travel canoe journey is opening the house. It's going to be a mix of different nations, so we're going to get all of our favorite hits from uh, all these different songs. It's going to be pretty exciting. Of course, all the players walking in get to size everybody up. So pretty exciting time, of course. And if people haven't heard the big news already, our own Kiefer Collison has the dilemma of whether or not he's going to call the opening ceremony or walk in yeah, as right. you're competing this year, Kiefer Terrace. Yeah, playing with Terrace representing the TBC and KFC finger licking good. And Zoe can't get that one to go. And uh, yeah, we were invited due to Heidelberg dropping out. So looking forward to playing my first time and the all-native Neely launches a three. No good on that one. Fights for that rebound. Collinson might have stepped out of bounds there. Yeah, and it's just not been Neely's day. Uh, she's uh, one for nine for, for two-pointers and one for ten on threes. So she's shooting 11% on the afternoon. You know, obviously not what we've learned to expect from Neely. No, and, and, and it just happens that way. You know, you have your games, and sometimes you don't have your games. And what I like about Neely is she's always just has a, a really decent, good attitude. She does, her. absolutely. Having a good time. It's just a game for her, and... You know, she goes out there and she's trying to set a good example for her team and her players, and she's done a great job of that. As Abraham's going up, no good. Can't get that one to go. Rebound there by Swanson. Swings it down to Golkeith. Get she puts it up, puts that in, and Golkeith get her so dangerous at the top of the key because she's got nice hands for the touch, and then she could turn around and put up a floater. That's really hard to block. Yeah, she's created her own little office there. You know, she just loves the top of the key. That's the shot she'll take if it's if it's there for her. Hughes. Working it down. Oh, kind of loses the handle on there. Nice pass back to uh, Tracy. Tracy can't get that to go. Rebound there by Mary Jane. Swings it down to Abrahams. Abrahams has Larissa. Larissa goes up. Oh, no good on that one. Rebound there by Tracy. She hucks the ball down the court. Controlled there by Leanne Hughes. Five minutes left to go in the game. 81-29. Long shot, no good. Out of bounds there, as uh, Mary Jane might have expected it to hit the rim, but it kind of just came off the net. Yeah, and Melikala really, uh, you know, they're short benched already, and uh, Jordan Leesk has been shut down the whole second half. She's still at the first aid table uh, getting treated for uh, what we think is, you know, an asthma or some attack that she's having. She can't breathe, taking oxygen. Yeah, that is a huge loss for Melikala. She's one of their point guards, so tough for that. Larissa Swanson can't get that one to go. Abraham swings it around. Kaylin launches a deep one. No good. Oh, Mary Jane gets that rebound and puts that up and in for two. 4.45 left here. 83-29. Oh, good to see old Massett play the entire bench. Uh, Coach uh, Lenny Aarons getting in uh, everybody to play. Larissa Swanson, good young player from uh, old Massett. As we know, Stan Swanson is uh, Christina's daughter. Good little baller. And that's a forced shot clock violation. And Larissa just wanted to run with it. Yeah, 4.22 to go. It's, uh, It'd be interesting to see the age. Like, all the Met players as well look extremely young juniors for sure. So lots of development to happen, and it's good to have those veteran leaders on the Met like outside, like Neely and the Hughes sisters out there. So... You know, big things could be coming. They train hard. Anything can happen. Yeah, and obviously uh, this is the, the first game of the tournament for everybody. So, uh, you know, if Massett holds on for the night, unless next 4-11, they'll play Hazleton uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Loser of this game drops down to a game tomorrow night at 9.30. Well, they'll play the loser of uh, New Anch and Lacqualams. Larissa leaking down the court. Kaylin finds her. They're still going hard to the hole. Oh, gets called with the travel. They wanted to over the back call or contact. Well, I think for a young player, she heard the feet coming is what she heard there and uh, got distracted by that. But looking for her first bucket. 
351 left. Oh. Almost forces a turnover there. Swinging it around, and they're really just letting the young young players go out there and, and, and get some XP. Larissa again trying to go baseline. Oh, oh. finds a wide open. Uh, Marissa Abrahams puts that in. Good passer by Larissa to find her. Yeah, Larissa to Marissa. <laughs> he was bringing it down the floor. Nice moves. She meets by goal. Keith gets straight up defense. Rebound by Mary Jane. Swings it around. Ooh, that ball just leaks down to Kaylin. Up. No good. Offensive board there. And that is Abrahams again putting it in for two. Abraham's having a good performance, very tenacious defender and getting it done on the glass. Ryan with it. Kia. It's a force, might have been fouled there, knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds. So Met Neely directing her team from the bench to listening as they spread out. Almost thrown away there, swings it around. Hughes for three. There Bang. you go. Try to get some positive momentum to get ready for tomorrow night. Good shot there by Hughes. Abrahams with the ball, picks up the dribble, swings it around over to Kaylin. Kaylin decides to launch up a deep three, front iron no good. Larissa with the rebound, and she gets that one to go. Ryan with the ball bringing it in and she's going to get fouled there by Larissa. Well, it's good. She's filling up the stat sheet. That's her first foul. So one bucket, one assist, one foul for Larissa. That's always my goal. A single triple <laughs> when I play. <laughs> she's got it. Nice lead pass down to Abrahams who's streaking the floor. She goes up for the layup front iron. No good. Gets her own offensive rebound. Resets here, and Larissa wide open under on the left side, goes up and in, and now she's got four points. And here comes Malakala, two, under two minutes left to go, 91-32, all Massett leads. Going the other way, uh, Matt keeping it. Kieran to inbound the ball over to Whitney. Swings it around. Stolen away there by Larissa. Marissa now running the floor. Abrahams. Oh, loses the handle. Gets it back. Decides to go all the way. Can't get it to go. Good defense there by Met. Swanson swings it out to go. Keith get. No good on that shot there by go. Keith get in her office at the top of the junction. Hughes with it now. Slowing things down. She's got a lot of room. She should launch that. Now she's waiting for a team. Giving other opportunities. That's a good idea. Ryan Crum launches a three, gets fouled. Oh, almost looked like that had a chance to go in. So she's going to head to the line for three shots. Well, maybe we'll just take a quick break here. This women's game is being brought to you on the radio by Old Master Village Council and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be back after this. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Fiftieth. Wow, that's awesome. It is awesome. Stolen away there by Abraham. She has Swanson. Swanson. Wondering what she's gonna do. Finds Abraham's. Hezzy's back down to Swanson. Puts that in for two. Twenty seconds left. 
And that's going to just about do it here. 95 to 32. 19 seconds left. Both young squads, Old Massett, got the best of Met Lakatla today. But in the future, all right, these guys are going to have uh, a lot better games for sure. Just got to continue on with those junior programs. Like we mentioned, the junior all native earlier, adding the U13 divisions, and you see so many promising young players come through that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it, 95-32. Well, yeah, great opening tournament here for Old Masset Raiders. They win 95-32 over Melikala. This game has been brought to you on the radio by Old Masset Village Council and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll take a very quick break, and we'll be back with your game wrap-up after this. Welcome back, everybody. We just finished up our third broadcast here on day one at the 61st Annual All Native Basketball Tournament here on Classic Rock CFNR. Uh, it was a domination there. Old Massett defeats Metlakatla uh, by 62, 63 points. Uh, 95 uh, for the Old Massett. They were led by Cameron Parnell. She had 20 points. Uh, really, uh, was like they had four players in double digits. So Cameron with 20, Sarah Edenshaw with 19, Zoe Collinson with 15, Jamie Mould had 12, Aaliyah Aarons with five, Naomi Swanson with two, Marissa Abrahams had eight, uh, Mary Jane Edgars had four, Kaylin Swanson with two, Larissa Swanson with four, and Ghost Giesket Yakujanas uh, with four as well. So it's a good shooting performance for Old Massett. They shot 60%. And uh, played some really good uh, spirited ball there. And Melikala, uh, they had a really short bench and they struggled today. Led by Tracy Hughes. as She had 14 uh, points, the only player in double digits. As uh, Melikala only shot 19% uh, from the field that entire game with 25 turnovers. So uh, back to the drawing board for them. Uh, rest of the scores, Leanne Hughes had 8. Neely Humperville had 5. Whitney Ryan with 4. And uh, Jordan Leesk, as we said, sat out to the whole second half. And still uh, not uh, leaving the first aid table. So... We'll see where she goes the rest of the tournament, but uh, both squads uh, get uh, their feet underneath them on this tournament, and uh, we have another broadcast coming at 4 o'clock, Keith. I think it's an all-NAS matchup. As I think it's a uh, Black Al Zap and yeah. New Ayanch at 4 p.m. Yeah, and the opening it's, ceremonies. Yeah, the opening ceremonies coming tonight, so looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's been nice to get back in the booth and, uh, and uh, break the ice. I think I'm looking for the word, break icebreaker. Yeah. So it's good. We'll be back at 4 p.m. And then, of course, opening ceremonies tonight. Catch all the action, cfnrfm.ca. I'm Keeper Carlson. Of course, that's Pistol Pete and Lenton with your color commentary. And then, of course, we had Cliff, the Statman Morgan, on the stats for your nation, your station, CFNR.